Hello, Foster's Games Reviews here again with a pickup video and a thank you. Massive thank you to Retrobit Rob Witt on Instagram. Uh, Rob, thank you so much for this. It's a mod. Uh, now, I met Rob at a Doncaster Games Fair uh, the other year. Uh, now, at the time, he bought a backlight kit for his Game Boy. Um, I reluctantly didn't buy one. Uh, so when I went again this year, uh, I met uh, the Martin EXP, Martin. Hello, Martin. And I picked up a, um, a backlight kit for my Game Boy. Now, I'm not skilled in that field. I do dabble in fixing things and DIY. Uh, when it comes to electrical, I'm not so good. So, I sent this to Rob, he graciously accepted the offer of modding it for me, so here it is. Here's the Game Boy, my, one of my uh, original ones. Uh, the game I've got in is, yes, Street Fighter, looking a bit worse for wear. Um, but to the untrained eye, it looks like a normal Game Boy. Here goes. Okay, the batteries are dead. Great. Wow. That kind of. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. <sighs> Live. Coming at you. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> hey, it's going to work perfect. Yes, it looks grand, and it plays really well as uh, as well. Uh, the fact that you can actually play it in the dark is a godsend. It's better than having all these add-ons, and it, it, it's so nice. Um, um, I'll go back onto it. You can actually alter the which one? That's the value. Duh. You can change the contrast um, to whatever you deemed suitable for your eyes at the time. Uh, but I have to say, perfecto, malissimo. Cheers, Rob. Absolute gem. You're a diamond. Thank you so much for this. And also in the package, I wasn't expecting this. Now, I did mention a game uh, in Doncaster, one I've been after for a while. Uh, he graciously bestowed upon me a copy of Fantasia. Uh, I've been after this for a while. <laughs> it will open. There we go. It's uh, complete with instruction manual. Uh, like I said, he had a, a duplicate copy, so he sent me it. Um, I can't thank him enough. Uh, but I will be meeting him. Uh, not this Friday coming, but next. Which is the which is the twenty fourth of November? Uh, so we're gonna have a little uh, gaming session and a few drinks. Hopefully, maybe there'll be some uh, videos. Who knows? But thank you, massive thank you for that. Uh, right. Um, now I went to. CX, and I picked up, these were the prices because I come, took them all off so I forgot. Now, I picked up a SNES game, I don't have this one. Uh, I have it for the Mega Drive and I remember it being a quirky game, decent platformer, and it, visually it looked really well. It's a cool spot. Uh, now, this I paid, if we can find it, Five pounds, which I don't think is a terrible amount to pay uh, for Cool Spot. Uh, I have seen it go for more. So that's the first one. Uh, this one, complete in box. This is for the NES. The, the box is in pretty good condition. It's got a tear on the back. 
Um, it's a little bit doggy around the corners, but it's an LJN. Good old LJN. Thanks to Angry Video Game Nerd. Terminator 2 on the NES. Uh, it's complete. It has instructions. It's, uh, there we go. I love the little, I always used to see the little adverts on the back. You'll like that one, Rob. Double Dragon 3. Um, uh, yeah, it comes complete. And it's even got the foam insert. I don't know if you can see that. Still got the foam insert in which, on most uh, old NES games, you tend to find that it goes missing. Uh, so, again, that's a bonus. Uh, but yeah, it's in really good condition. I haven't yet had a chance to try none of these out um, for reasons beyond my power called work. Uh, but I will get around to playing them. I will be doing some playthroughs, I promise you. Uh, we still, me and Ellie still need to do House of the Dead on the Wii. We are going to do, I keep saying it, but we are going to do uh, the, um, the rail shooter light gun games. And then we're going to go into platformers and driving games and so on and so forth. Uh, that, that was £10, which again, in pretty good condition. I will show you again. The box is in pretty good shape. There's a tear just there and the bottom's a little bit saggy, but for its age, brilliant. Uh, next, I got... Now this one, I don't know, I'm not so sure of the price. Um, I didn't mind it because I like the point and clicky games. It's X-Files on the PS1. Uh, the discs are in really good shape. It's not showing up on camera very well, but all four discs, yes, all four discs, and an instruction manual. It comes with an instruction manual. Uh, the case is in really good condition. Again, uh, paid eight pounds for that. Now, let me know if that's a little bit too much. Just message below. Um, but I enjoyed that back in the day when it came out. Sad as it sounds, but some people may say different. Me. I'm a point and click fan, um, like uh, Jewel and Dragon, is it Jewel and Dragons? Blazing Dragons, sorry, Jewel and Dragons is a ride that is no longer there at Universal. Blazing Dragons, uh, Discworld, uh, Broken Sword, uh, Day of the Tentacle, that's, way, uh, that's back on the PC. Um, but anyhow, enough of that. Uh, this one, Guitar Hero. Yes, Guitar Hero on the DS. Now, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's complete. The box is in reasonable shape. It's got a little bit of a wear and tear on the bottom there. Um, but it's, it's complete. Everything's in. It's still in its case. It's still got the, um, the piece for the, there's two different, ver you know, well, not two different versions. But you've got the hamburger uh, DS. And then you've got the slimline DS, yes. um, that was the attachment to, to it fit both. Uh, it comes with instructions, all the bits, it's got the little pick uh, for strumming, the game. I paid a pound, and that's from CEX. Now, personally, I think that was a pretty good buy. The sound quality on the songs, out too much, but what do you expect? It's compressed, uh, but they're audible, and you can make out what they are. Uh, I do already have this. Uh, but I thought, as a spare, as a pickup, why not? For a pound, you cannot go wrong. Now the best buy, and I know this goes, this can go for a lot more. Now there were two copies of this game in CEX. One, well, the box, from what I could see, the box was absolutely pristine. Um, he brought this box out first. Now, a little bit dog-eared. Uh, it's seen better days, it's got a little bit of creasing on the top, but still in fairly good condition. Didn't have an instruction manual. Now the other one did, so cheekily, and he was seasonal staff, might I ask, at CEX. He knew nothing, he had never, in fact, he had never seen a NES cartridge. He went, wow, that's big. Mm. And like I said to him, I guess you don't know nothing about games then. And his response was, not really. Well, why the hell have you got a job at CEX? But anyhow, uh, let's get back on track. 
he kindly took the instruction manual out of the duff box, which looked nice, but it had a big tear on the front. And it says, I won't say anything, I put it in this one. Now I paid £20 for this, and I know it can go for a lot more. Yoshi's Story on the N64. Now I don't have it boxed. The box, again, isn't fantastic. It does have a little bit of wear. But for its age, I mean, other than that, it is in really good shape. A little bit of creasing on the top, but that's for £20. Really, can't go wrong. And the instruction manual was out of the other one. So cheaply, I said, well, this one doesn't have a manual. So I took it out and placed it in. There we go. Um, so I got a complete copy of Yoshi's Story on the N64. For 20 quid. No, you can't go wrong with that. Right, some of the news. I am making a proton pack. Uh, there are a few uh, Instagram followers out there that are aware of this. Uh, Keith, if you know who you are, if you watch this video. Um, so I'm in the process of putting together a proton pack. Uh, which is based on the real Ghostbusters and not um, the the movie pack. Um, maybe it's because it's got a lot of nostalgia for me. Um, I will insert a picture here of what I have done so far. Ta-da! Shooting! Now that pretty much wraps this video up. Again, a big thank you to Rob for modding my Game Boy and the copy of Fantasia. An absolute diamond you are. Thank you so much for this. Uh, can't wait to see you. And again, if you like this channel, please click the link, uh, well, the link, the bell down there. Uh, every time we upload a video, a video, um, it will, you will be notified. Uh, please feel free to follow us on Instagram on LouMarkFosters07, on Twitter on Elilunina, and on Facebook on the Fosters Games Reviews. So, thanks for watching. Please, please, we're trying. Uh, this is another thing. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers before Christmas. I'm very doubtful that it's going to happen, but if we do, uh, we will be doing a giveaway. Uh, 200 subscriber giveaway. I'm not telling you what it is, but it'll be a nice surprise uh, for anyone who uh, feel, who subscribes. Uh, you will all be put into a draw, like my last one, at uh, 100 subscribers. So, feel free to subscribe, like, and all that malarkey. And, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling on now. So, uh, yeah, keep gaming. Keep gaming. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, follow us on Instagram, on LouMacBusters07.